What up, everybody? Back with more Twisted Tales from the Trailer Park. And um, this kind of just happened organically, and I thought it would make it for a fun video. It's just a conversation I had today with a random stranger. The magic of the internet. Not too close? Is that too close? Am I making you uncomfortable? Oh, I try to. Let's see. It was, uh, I don't want to say his name. We'll just call him Charles if I say his name at all, because... On the off chance this goes anywhere, I don't want the dude doxxed. But it was in the comments of a video about the recent uh, debacle at ESPN. For those of you who don't know, uh, a little while ago, a bunch of feminists said, Awful lot of male hosts, not a lot of female hosts. And ESPN said, Oh no, woke mob. Okay. And they laid off a bunch of dudes who earned their spot and had experience. And hired a bunch of women who didn't have as much experience and so now the women that uh are not white said awful lot of white chicks around here and so now it looks like the white chicks could lose their job and for to fill in with more people of the right skin color and as usual the the lack of self-awareness common with the woke left mob is in full effect as usual i love it i mean the same women that laughed at guys who were like you're firing me because of the body i was born in despite my qualifications to hire less qualified people because of the body they were born in and they were told haha sucks to be you man baby future's female and uh, those same women are now going, hey, wait a minute, you're firing me for no other reason than the body I was born in. And hiring people for no other reason to take my spot than the body they were born in. Man, go figure. And so I think it's kind of funny. What would be really funny is if the original male hosts come back and drag and say we identify as female you don't awful lot of cis people around here and then they have to re release all women cis women of all the colors to be properly diverse and uh yeah <laughs> that'll be great and then, then it'll just be full circle again and that'll be awesome why not Men are taking over women's sports why can't men take over what is now female sports casting and uh, so I commented, hit the nail on the head about whether or not this kind of thing helps any race tensions. Someone may not be racist, homo fearful, trans fearful, sexist, but if you stick a finger in their face and tell somebody they're no good long enough, they're going to be a lot closer to all those things they were before they met you, to all my leftist friends who think screaming at people is the way to go. I mean who, I don't know how many of you have left as friends, uh, most of them have been blocking me, they used to love me, because I was the guy who got all the undecideds to go for Bernie, but I, I haven't moved, I'm still the same guy, they're over here, which makes me a Shiite Republican now, according to them, and, uh, but yeah, this is funny, I made a difference today, I fought against people, I think, Hate others for no other reason than the demograph that they were born in. Yeah, what'd you do? I told a bunch of people they're pieces of shit for being born in the demograph that they were born in. Hmm, great. Good job. So, this man replied, white people will have to become racists out of self-defense. He didn't actually spell it that way. I did. Algorithms and such. Um... Uh, I can see where he's coming from and why he would say that with every white character in movies and television being replaced with someone of a not troublesome skin tone and, and now losing their jobs for being white. Literally, a company like ESPN is firing people for being white. That is where we're at. But replied, I didn't say it necessarily that way, I hope not. Giving in to what they want will only deepen their heels in the belief that they that we are bad. It's our time to take a lesson from MLK. I'm not taking MLK. I'm not claiming him for the white people. I mean the way he protested and the way he protested injustices. Don't worry. Okay. He retorted, 
He doesn't take lessons from commies. Referring to MLK, I asked. <laughs> so, wait, is that a jab at me? Um, and what they want is for us to be racial so they can continue to mix us away. It's not an accident that white people are becoming the minority in every one of our countries. It's a deliberate program. It's why they stomp out white racial awareness wherever they find it. Obviously a man with strong convictions and opinions here. And on the, and he's on the defensive. Don't push when talking to these people. Pushing will make them more defensive. The more offensive you are, the more defensive they will be. Just like these left woke weirdos, right? So, again, don't you don't change minds by telling people they're a piece of shit for the way they think. So I replied, I'm guilty of that myself in the past, you know, but, but I've learned from it. And, uh, yeah, you don't change minds by telling people they're no good. I'm just saying this is not, this is not a non-white folks in general issue. Sorry. Ugh, blah, I can't talk. I'm just saying this is not non-white folks in general. I'm not in competition for my race with my black, Asian, or Hispanic friends or the people on the Indian colony over the hill of which I used to live with my ex, ex, ex. Ex, ex-girlfriend of many moons ago. That was not a native joke. I hope, shit. Don't judge me. Stay, stay aware and spread awareness, of course, but do not lose sight of who the real people out to get you are. Left-wing politicians, dishonest media, and pro-victims. That's all these ladies are at ESPN. The ones that forced out the men, now the ones forcing out the white women. They're professional victims. I have no qualification, but I'm this skin tone. I have this between my legs, so you have to give me a job, even if you got to fire somebody more qualified to do so. And, well, taking advantage of new hosts at ESPN, not any particular race or gender, but those that try and spread propaganda in an attempt to turn our fellow men and women against each other. He replies... It's not their fault. They're being used. To be honest, the blame lies with us for letting it happen. And 50 years from now, your black and Indian friends will have a homeland full of hundreds of millions of people that look like them. Apparently he is uh, not up to speed on Native American history there, but okay. It continues. We won't have that. Let me ask you this. If it's this open season on white people while we're the majority... How bad is it going to be when we're actually the minority? That's a legit question. Somehow, I doubt we're going to get affirmative action casinos, reservations, etc., etc. Again, it may be a bit extreme, but does he not have a case when a company like ESPN is literally saying, oh, shoot, yeah, when you can go to work at ESPN and, uh, oh, awful lot of honkies around here. And rather than face any repercussion for your racial slur, they go, you're right. We will get rid of some of these honkies since they since their skin color bothers you. <sighs> yeah, so he's not so he's got a legitimate fear. And so, but I reminded him, you know, this was uh done. I again I think it's funny because they did it against the women that did it to the men. White women are like, no, we're minorities too. We're right there with black people. Boy, nobody knows more about oppression than white women. Which is hilarious. Now, Bill Burr had that great bit about the woke movement. It was to help down and out minorities get, uh, help get them jobs and whatnot. And that lasted for about nine seconds. And then white women with the heated leather seats and $900 Gucci bags jumped in the front of that line. <laughs> anyway, he continues... You're literally being ethnically cleansed in your own land, and you're just sitting there like, I don't see color. And if you think America will not change, guess again. Polling data shows non-whites overwhelmingly vote liberal and list several liberal stands that, honestly, I'm hitting this and back and forth on myself, and pointed out non-Western nations don't have these problems. Again, when talking with people you disagree with, stay calm, don't be mean, don't call them names, look for commonalities. And throw in humor that's not at their expense, okay? I started off by saying that, of course, I see color, and I would get glasses if I did not. <sighs> but you're not wrong about people coming here for a shot at a better life, because the Founding Fathers set it up so, and plenty of fought to maintain it, including some good friends of mine. 
Not sure what to say to the rest. I think most non-whites live in liberal cities and therefore share liberal views. White people living in these same areas mostly vote the same way. A white person in L.A. is more likely to vote liberal, and a Hispanic or black man living in rural America is more likely to vote conservative. Plenty of non-whites in, in here in the letter Kenny of the United States, otherwise known as Elko, Nevada, vote more right-leaning. I work with a lot of Hispanic men. I'm in construction. Hell, every time I jump into a work truck, some of my Mexican co-workers have been driving, the radio set on a conservative news radio. It seems your views, which is also a lot biased, you know, depend more on where you live rather than your skin tone. Let's leave the assumption that all people of certain gender or race all think the same to the left. I don't want any race going extinct, but I'm also not a fan of sticking to your own. I mean, the hottest chicks on earth are from Central America, let's be honest, except for my girlfriend, of course. Baby, baby. I didn't mean that. Except for you, you're the exception, all right? <laughs> Some Indian colonies have a huge problem with inbreeding, and the blood quantum for tribes has been cut down to avoid it in other tribes. The Lincoln, Oregon Indian Casino and Resort, which is a badass place, by the way, has pictures of their tribal leaders, and some are as white as you and I. Some are even gingers. So, yeah, so much for the uh, Indians have hundreds of millions of people left. No. Mixed races is just what happens when we have global travel. No one mixes with China, Africa, or the Middle East because no one wants to fucking go to those places. Let's be honest. They, you know, they, the sane ones want out. I agree we wouldn't get casinos, but again, that's the left, which is still predominantly white, that's insistent upon punishing us. I'm more worried about far left feminists at the point. Not women. Not women in general, like women. It'd be a pretty, uh, pretty gay planet without them, right? Oh, can I say that? Mm -hmm. At this point, indoctrinating women that 12 times the educational opportunity and a tiny fraction of the homeless community as oh, winning full custody 85% of the time means we're not doing enough for women and we need to do more at the expense of men. And there's women out there today that think, as I've mentioned before, um, you know, we live in an R word culture because you can't even call a man you've never met in another state a uh, rapist without him going to prison that should be that should be just freaking unquestioned no trial lock him up remember it was men in general fired from espn to begin with he recommended a 20-minute documentary called Endgame White Genocide and says it lays out a government program paying for non-whites to move into white neighborhoods I haven't watched it yet. I will, though. Maybe I'll do a review on it. Um, but it sounds like gentrification, right? I hope I said that right. Which is whites moving into the ghettos. Because our, our privileged asses can't afford rent anywhere else anymore, right? I don't have a problem with non-white people moving into a white neighborhood. I'll tell you that right now. I wish I could set the, get the government to you know pay for my new digs. I don't know. Let's try to repeat the hell, man. Uh, but yeah, that neighbor's Mexican, the neighbor over there is Mexican, neighbor over there is Mexican, you know, I'm the minority here, and, uh, but God, dang it, they are, um, some of the nicest freaking people I've ever lived next to, uh, you know, I had some, I had some white trash neighbors, again, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying, oh yeah, white bad, you're right, yeah, you're right, we suck, liberals, you were right, no, but I've had some pretty bad neighbors uh, that were white, and I've had bad neighbors that were not white, but whatever, all the ones here are cool. Um, and you know what I've noticed about them, just anecdotally, like, they actually stick with their partners. Once kids and you say I do, they stick with them. Uh, a lot of white people I know can't say the same, right? Oh, now I'm profiling. The left's like, see, I told you, you suck. You and your white skin and your penis and your proclivity for women instead of your own sex. Piece of crap. Okay. Anyway, this all just remind this guy, you know, I don't, I didn't get the sense I was talking to a real bad dude. Um, just someone who, who, you know, he's got a legitimate complaint. I mean, 
he's looking at a world where white people are told they suck every day. All our heroes are being replaced. Um, re reimagined, as the quarter would say. Reimagined. We just, and, uh, yeah, you know, you, you get laid off from ESPN for being white. You go, oh, man, I, um, well, I got a geology degree. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll apply at the mines. And you see they have a, uh, men need not apply sign because they got too many dudes already. Like, well, maybe I can teach. And then you go, and like, well, we got 70% female professors, but we're not looking to balance out. We're going to keep it this female dominant. So he, uh, he's got, he's got a point, you know, and if you've ever seen the film, um, higher learning, there's a, a naive kid who goes there and he's innocent enough. And, uh, some black people start beating his ass and bullying him and stuff. Again, not all black people, just a handful of them, but that's enough that he meets a white guy who's being nice to him. who turns out to be a white supremacist. Next thing you know, he's a white supremacist. Cause he's like, Oh, these guys are great. This is better than getting my ass beat all the time. And he never would have joined him again if he wasn't told he was a piece of shit and beat up for no other reason than the color of his skin. And that turned him against other people for the color of their skin. And that's what we have here. Um, so while I understood this man's concerns, you can't beat hate with hate. You don't have to hug him, put a flower in your hair. Any of that, but there's better ways to navigating around these than just countering ignorance with ignorance. People that do hate men and do hate white people, I'm just, uh, you know, they're ignorant and, um, you know, try not to be ignorant yourself. You, know, you got to show them a better path and you, uh, you don't do it just, you know. They're, I know they got their finger in your face and, and it's mad as, you're mad as hell. Oh, you're a piece of crap. Look, you've got a penis and white skin. And, and it's real tempting just to go, well, you don't have white skin and a, and a vagina. So blah, blah, blah. And just return that same kind of stupid thinking. But uh, nothing gets done that way, folks. You know, you got to be better than that. So, but I'm just happy at ESPN, the professional feminist victims are being treated exactly how they treated people and are being forced out the, for their body the same way they forced out other people for their body. It is hilarious, I think. And I'm going to have a drink to it right now. But catch you all later. If you want, hit that like button. Come on. If you've watched this far and you agree, you agree, you got something to say, put it down there. We'll have a discussion. We can have another discussion and I'll share it and hide your name. All right. Peace out.